Ketso Connect for students. When I used Ketso for my self-directed study at home, I used it mainly for brainstorming for my essays because it really helped me develop my main ideas. Being able to move the pieces around is really good for being able to make different connections. Prior to the early stage of planning my dissertation, I had a few t topics and I wasn't quite sure which one to choose because you think you've got a good idea for one. Then when you actually look into it, there's not enough to write about. So I sort of used Ketso to delve deeper into it. It allows me to gather all of my ideas in one place, which makes it a lot easier for me to see where connections exist. I've used Ketso to reflect on what I, what I learned, what I noticed during TAing the course. And I've also used it to reflect on what skills have I developed. I know it was really, really useful for the for the job interview and just getting really organised. And I, and during the assessment centre, I did have my Ketso Connect just in front of me. I had it, for example, on my door in my bedroom. I was passing by by it all the time. So I was every day I was coming up with some new ideas. For self-direct study, I sometimes use Ketso to make daily plans and take notes of the keywords that I want to investigate further. And also because this, this is washable, so I can just... When I've done that and I can just wash it. View it gives everybody a summary of the and, and provides a better narrative for a group report because often they can end up quite clunky and sort of um, not really very well integrated. So it really helps give a holistic viewpoint. Knowing that everyone had thought about it a little bit and contributed something um, was encouraging for the actual project because you were like, okay, everyone's on the same page, everyone is listening. Ketso would be really good for international schools generally um, because people who aren't that good in English uh, would be afraid to speak up, but um, can easily share their ideas with Ketso. It's perfect for more socially anxious people as well, which I think is really important. If we have some people in class and some people working remotely, then the, uh, the ability for people to work on Ketso Felts and uh, share via Padlet, for example, is going to mean that we can have people both on and off campus uh, taking part in the same activity at the same time. Having these Ketso activities in your lectures means that there's a bit of um, connectivity between those who are doing online learning and those who are doing in-person learning. When we're back to normal, to our everyday life, I can see this, uh, the Ketso Connect kits could be more, even more useful and beneficial in group projects and during the lectures. A lot of the lecture is a PowerPoint being talked about by a, um, a professor or a lecturer in front, having an engaging interactive activity like Ketso will be useful even in person um, because just being able to physically do something rather than typing on your laptop or listening to someone, I think can be beneficial uh, for learning. When everything gets back to normal and maybe we're allowed in-person meetings or group meetings, you can just stick them on the leaves and then fold it up, stick it in the bag and then take it back with you.